Since January to date, 389 cases have been reported with 178 suspects arrested. Most victims are women about the age of 18, with their partners being majority suspects. 52 men, however, also became victims of GBV in Ohangwena this year. Some of the contributing factors to gender-based violence in Ohangwena are alcohol abuse, financial dependency, lack of parental guidance, extramarital affairs, harmful cultural practices, and cohabitation. Male tendency of refusing to take no for an answer when women decide to end a relationship is also another contributing factor to GBV. Gender-based violence and abuse of human rights which should not be tolerated at all. Sexual, economic, emotional and physical abuse, amongst others, are some, of, are some forms of gender-based violence which pose a great concern and the need to be addressed as a matter of agency by all stakeholders. Speaking at the launch of Gender-Based Violence Action Plan Awareness Campaign was NAMPO's Deputy Inspector General of Operations, Major General Joseph Shikongo. It so happened that you see in our, at our work environment, you see fellow citizens reporting for duties, whether you are a teacher, whether you are a police officer, whether you are a soldier, whether you are a member from social society, you come to your office with a swollen face. And you lie to your colleagues who said, I just fell from the stairs. That's why we said, let us break the wall of silence. Let us talk out. Let us repeat, report all the GBV that are committed against you. This year's GBV awareness campaign is held under the theme Everyone Deserves to Live Free from Violence. Tonatania Embody NBC News, Congo.